<laughs> no. Hey, so we're gonna be doing a top 959 Joshua Tree route video today because we thought it would be a great idea to spend a couple of days climbing all of our favorite five nines. And why wouldn't we film it? Obviously, it's so beautiful. Of course. So the first one, we're gonna be going in reverse order. So we're gonna start with number nine. Uh, reverse numerical order, I don't know. We're gonna start with number nine. It's gonna be the North Overhang. It's found at Intersection Rock. It's pretty, I think, pretty classic for a five nine just because it's on one of the more well-known and easily Accessible. Accessible. I mean, walk yeah. Up to it within a minute. And so it's just like nice little awkward crack. At the, I guess it's not very nice. It's like a little awkward crack at the beginning, and then some really easy face climbing. But then you get to do these cool moves over that lip, uh, mid lip, mini roof, yeah, and then I you get like a, a roof. yeah, and you hit a hero hand jam, and like you just pull over your feet, and then you do like a quick stem, and then you just walk to the top. But I think that gets number nine. Yeah, I agree. Number eight. You know Broom to shroom. Yeah. This one's beautiful route. Kind of a little bit of a jaunt to get out to it, can, especially compared to anything on Intersection Rock. Beautiful route though. Kind of big hand sizes for me, so I kind of had loose hands in it, but it was like perfect for Caesar because he yeah. doesn't have baby hands. It starts off at like 0.75 and then it goes all the way to three or three or three and a half at the end. But then you finish with like a traverse on a slab, which I guess is cool to some people. I'd rather it just be like a perfect crack all the way to the top. Yeah. But it is a beautiful formation. Like a beautiful position because you're in the Wonderland. And it's a nice crack. Western Saga. This one deserves honestly to be much higher on the list. but Yeah, but no one, it's not like highly rated. But I, it's highly rated in our book. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Why don't let the masses sway you? This thing's yeah. amazing. This should be like, it's honestly number three in my book. This is not number three. Well, it's, it's up there though. But it's a nice like interesting face it makes you think a little bit then you hit a couple of nice finger locks and eventually you end up on this ledge up higher here and you get to climb like this nice hands dihedral into a sweet roof where you do like another big pull onto another nice jug and it's 120 feet long should be higher yeah i mean honestly this is it, an amazing but, route you guys yeah but all these routes are amazing yeah all these this routes are good really yeah amazing. all these routes are good This one should be number nine. <laughs> if it even made the list, I don't know how. People love this route. I don't know why. <laughs> this is like a five-star route in the books. It's garbage. Well, it Go it's, ahead, it's, speak it's... good on it, because I could speak bad forever. Why don't you like it? It's not fun. Everything felt really contorted. There was no real fun movement on it where you're like, oh, wow, that whole sequence was beautiful. It's just like fucking lame the whole time. Okay, well... I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, let's, let's go with why we think it's cool. It's probably yeah, it's, cool. Yeah, it's probably cool because you got a nice little plated face climb down low, and then you do a couple of thin hands and rings and fingers, and you just do general crack climbing, and you get higher and higher, and then eventually you hit the crack where it thins out, and it's like a layback or thin jams, and uh, it's pretty sick. I don't yeah. know. It's a hundred. It's, right. it's hundred feet. A shot. Ninety don't, feet. I'm just. Yeah. I'm a. I'm a hard to please. And approaching that area, Conan. Conan's, Conan's corridor? corridor is like really cool because it's a squeeze. Anyways, touch we're going, and go. Touch and go. Classic. Super good. Just amazing route. Yeah. Why do you like this one so much? Um, it's like it's not straightforward, but everything is there. No, it's definitely a five nine for a reason. It's not like you're just gonna plug your hands. Like you have to use your feet. There's some stemming. That's true. Like it's a really fun route. It's what I mean is it's a little more challenging. Yeah. And but not like. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Help me. It's, it's <laughs> well protected. Yeah. It's well protected. It's it's pretty fun movement. Yeah, I yeah. like it. It's also a beautiful area. Yeah, hard to beat. I I should I think maybe in retrospect I think Pope's Crack should have been number five and Touch and Go should have been number four. Pope's but, Crack's amazing. But Pope's Crack is just so much longer and it gets to be this like nice hand jam crack all the way up to like 60 too. feet. Yeah. And then if you do the five nine variation, which this is a five nine variation, yeah. you once you get up higher past this hand crack, you'll see in a little bit, you end up traversing down into the left on this cool dike, and then you join another crack and take that all the way to the top. I think that was a great route. I also like the, like, I feel like you have to focus even more on this one because it's just a little more slippery. Yeah. And you can like, very yeah. easily find yourself, I don't know, like yeah. falling off right after you place the first piece. And Why don't you landing, just tell this story, Bridget? Landing on your girlfriend. <laughs> so I was like, I started it out by like running it out for a little bit just because we had done it before and then my foot ended up peeling out I don't know 10 feet above the last piece and I fell like 15 feet or something 
Yeah. No, I felt like 20 feet down. It was like you seven feet. Far. It was a pretty big. It was like, I think it was at least a 15 foot fall. And then like I landed on Bridget's shoulders, but she she caught me. I did. Yeah. And then I just, I just hit the ground. Yeah. I never let you. I was like down. hanging off the ground from like by like a foot. Maybe. That was a good day. Yeah. I feel like I feel like a football <laughs> player after that one. <laughs> no, but this is a great route. Yeah, it's fun. It's actually don't mm -hmm. people are like I don't want to go on that. You just said it's slippery. You well, know? I could have put, put more gear. I could have put more gear. I should have put more gear. I just didn't think I was gonna slip. And then the wrap down is amazing too on this one. I like when it's like a cool lapel. Okay. Well, here's number three. Invisibility lessons. I don't know when I uh, like looking at it on the video, it doesn't look so stellar. Yeah. Right. But I remember when I was climbing this, I thought it was so much fun because it was like fingers at the bottom, and then it just gets a little bigger, and then you got your hands, and it's just like a nice a steep. Yeah. It's, yeah. No, it's like a nice steep hand section, and like you really feel like you're rock climbing. See, that's what yeah. matters though. This is like your five nines. Yeah. Is this what you like? Like, yeah. Then hell yeah, put it on there. I bet you other people be like that was an amazing sequence. Well, it was. I thought it was really fun. Yeah. Mother nature. And it's it kind of is long. It's not like it's longer than like the average Joshua Tree route. I feel like. But then there's ah uh, this one. Yeah. Well, this should be number one in my book. It's this one's my really favorite good. Yeah. Forever, always. So this one's cool. Why don't you tell us about it? You know you 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 go ahead. Do it. All right. So there's a big variety of piece you use to protect it from like that small small crack you see right up front of you it takes like 0.2 on the black totem which I don't know if it's exactly 0.2 but then as you make your way up it gets wider and wider and wider um until you're placing like what three or five, five? it goes all the way to five yeah it like literally swallowed my whole leg that fish was real big but uh it's really engaging the whole time and then you also get a chance to rest before you reach that off foot section you can just like post your butt or your back up against that little orange flake. <laughs> that take little a, orange flake. That huge, massive yeah. orange flake and take a breather <laughs> before you like struggle your way up. Because uh, in good old fashioned Joshua tree, it's just the way it is. You know, it's like the last 10 feet are going to be the hardest and like you you really, really could fall and lose the onsite. Well, sometimes it's usually the first 10 feet are the hardest. It's the first 10 and then the last 10. You think the first 10 yeah, you're gonna you shut think down, and if you yeah. don't get shut down, get <laughs> ready for number two. Do you remember Wings of Steel by, uh, oh. uh, what is that? Bird of Fire? Yeah. And then, like, oh my I, God. And then I, thought I, I thought I had it all the way up to the top, and then the very end, you have to, like, slope around nothing. Anyways, here's number one Ace of Spades. I feel like this is just too, like, it's very classic, it's you know? This is actually, yeah. this is an amazing round. It's got like a nice, interesting, like little thin hand, thing and fingers at the bottom, but then you get to like the real cool part, which is pulling up onto these twin cracks. That's and so just, fun. Yeah. That is so fun. You feel like yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah, it's just like left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. You're just jamming. It's like beautiful jams all the way. And I know some people like to like do either just the left side or just the right side. No, like why not? Something like that. Both cracks. Yeah, it's just so yeah. fun though. And then it's like well protected. It's on a beautiful location because you're at the top of the White Cliffs of Dover. You get to wrap off. Yeah, it's like real yeah. rock climbing. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the top five nine. That was the top nine five nine. Yeah, let us let know, us know if we missed any. Yeah. Yeah, because maybe you know a little secret that we don't know of. Yeah, for sure. Or let us know if you agree or disagree. The Colorado crack is not as great as everyone says it is. <laughs> <laughs> Probably everybody agrees it's good. Everybody loves it. All well, right. you're all wrong.